Welcome back. We now give you the details of the top stories. I'm Randolph Jamias. Vice President Dr. Sama Kam said that the common goal of our world is to achieve sustainable development, which refers to securing the planet's availability of natural resources, both for the present and future generations. He said that the second Myanmar Green Economy and Green Growth Forum held at Myanmar International Convention Center in Naypyidaw on 13 November. He also said that Myanmar realizes that green economy contributes in eradicating poverty and sustaining economic growth, enhancing social dynamics, improving human welfare, and creating opportunities for employment and decent work while maintaining the Earth's ecosystems. Efficient use of natural resources is one of the areas of green economy to manage natural resources with lower negative environmental impacts increased resource efficiency, and reduced waste. The world population has been growing, and it is predicted that there will be 9 billion people by the year 2050. The rise in population has significant impact on the use of natural resources. The first Rio Declaration on Environment and Development 1992 clearly stated that people should focus for sustainable development. Human beings at present and in the future are entitled to a healthy and productive life in harmony with nature. In the new state constitution, it is mentioned that states shall protect and conserve the natural environment. Myanmar is well diverse in biological resources, nationalities, and cultures. The natural and cultural diversity of the country can contribute to sustainable development. The Vice President had commemorative photos taken together with Union Minister and guests. Chairman of Green Economy Green Growth, or GEGG, in Myanmar, and scholars presented their reports. Union Minister for Environmental Conservation and Forestry, Ubin Tun, explained that every country in the world is striving for economic development and exploration of natural resources and environment. The economic progress needs to be sustained not only for the current generation, but also for the future. The other delegates also discussed on their respective subjects. The second Myanmar Green Economy and Green Growth Forum will be held from 13 to 15 November. In other news, Vice President Dr. Samuel Kam received the Director General of the World's Intellectual Property Rights Association, Mr. Francis Gary, and party at the Credential Hall of the Presidential House in Naypyidaw on 13 November. They exchanged views on the transformation process of Myanmar and WIPO's cooperation. Deputy Ministers Dr. Koko U, Utan Cho, Uyetut, Umyo Aung, and Department Heads also attended the meeting. Meanwhile, on 11 November, a powerful earthquake damaged and collapsed many pagodas, religious buildings, houses, schools, offices, and construction sites in Sagaing and Mandalay regions. According to the latest report, 25 basic education schools, 35 monasteries, 45 pagodas, 55 staff housing, 201 houses, 13 hospitals and clinics, one pontoon from the Natinga Bridge construction site, power post and five transformers have been damaged. The local authorities, well-wishers, members of Tamado, Fire Brigade, Red Cross Society, and NGOs are providing foods, clothing, and shelter, as well as health and security measures to the victims. Medical teams are also rendering health care services for the people in the affected areas. Township Medical Officer Dr. Tami and an official from Mobile Medical Team of Tabechin Station explained their released measures for the affected people. Okay, 
ဒီသူတို့ဒီရောက်လာဒီမှာဒီအစိတ်ကူးမျိုးတဲ့အတွက်ရပါတယ်ရှားပတ်ဝန်းနေဒေတာတွေရပါဒီလိုက်မှာ